hello, my name is, name is Mad, and I'm here to again bow before you. Yeah, I, I like this emote, but there is a better one, but we receive it later. Anyway, back to the Bloodborne. Um, I have a piece of dialogue with Gilbert that I, by mistake, uh, I talked to him earlier when I was farming a bit. And uh, this is it! Yes, I see. But the Great Bridge is the only way to the Cathedral Ward. And during the hunt, the bridge is closed. Hmm. You could try the aqueduct. There's a rather, how shall I put it, colorful area south of the Great Bridge. From there, an aqueduct leads to the Cathedral Ward. <laughs> Not a place you'd normally want to visit, but... I don't imagine you have much of a choice, do you? <laughs> An aqueduct leads from the town south of the main bridge to the cathedral ward. Not a place you'd normally choose to visit, but not much of a choice with the bridge closed. <laughs> Okay, so now back to the to the running running around. Uh, as you probably realized, we're going to start with a boss, so I'm going to go there. Older honey. I will never get bored of this attack. I mean, I like... It might not be apparent, but I like Savage... Savage... savage. My English sucks. Uh, ferocious, you know, generally bloodthirsty attacks. So, this one, the, the parry from Bloodborne, is pretty pretty high on the list. Uh, there is also something like Rengar Das in uh, League of Legends, so this kind of jump with something sharp held in your hand and there is of course what I mentioned before so hunter hunter pouncing on somebody and trying to murder him okay here's the boss I mean, I think the only breathing that is more, you know, more terrifying is breathing of our dear Lord Vader. But that was ominous, and I like that. And very beastly. So, first boss is a monster. Obviously beast, because, you know, we're hunters. We should hunt beasts. But second boss is, well, this guy. And he's Hunter, and because we talked with his daughter, and there is there isn't his wife around, uh, we can assume that something went wrong, and he went a little bit batshit insane. Ow! Seriously, buddy. Okay, I'm sucking here. Sucking. What the hell? I usually cheese this fight 
at least the starting part that you can cheese. So if I had an axe, I think I have it. But whatever. Ah! If I die on it. I'm sorry I farted. The sweet blood. Oh, oh shit. Seems to me. It's enough to make a man sick. <laughs> oh yes it is. <laughs> Too proud to show you Fuck. Trick, I say. I suck! I suck balls. Okay. Moving onward. Fuck this. <laughs> Five minutes in and I already die. What the fuck? Ah, okay. I'm moving forward this video. <laughs> Back to the boss. Fuck this. Ah. Herp. Okay, back to the boss. There's something somewhere here, right? No way. Ow! Seriously, already? Thank you. Fuck this, asshole. I also want a pistol that shuts, shoots blunderbuss shells. I hate navigating those. Okay. What's with the dodge? Why is this button not working? In here, I use the music box. Let's dance. Grab some cocktails. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck these combos, man. Fuck these combos. Okay, uh, so a few things. That. Jesus, I suck today. I seriously suck. What the fuck? Thank you, bye bye. No, better. Uh. So, uh, I don't think there is any loot here, but, as you see, the tiny music box helped. And now to the point, um, here lies a woman with a red brooch. 
And that's mother of uh, the little kid. That's Viola. Wife of Gascoigne, the guy we just put down. Sad story, really. Sad story, really. And here we get to the central place of everything. You know, not a hub because obviously the dream is, is a hub, but a place like a hub but not a hub. That's very philosophical of me. The Bergen where spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrolled. My addiction sucks. Yeah. Now we can put blood gems in our weapons. Yeah. Okay, so we're in Chapel of Oedon. I have absolutely no idea how you pronounce that. Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside, waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know, since forever. But it won't end nicely, not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. The screams of women folk, the stench of blood, the snarls of beasts, none of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> yep. I know I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. If they seem worth being told, that is. Oh, and I do sincerely hope they are. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, if they seem worth, oh, and I. Well, in short, he seems shady, right? But he's blind and completely harmless. He's actually the most precious thing here. Maybe except, maybe except the doll. But you know, doll might be part of our imagination or some supernatural creature that we know shit about. Mm, but. Him on the other hand, he's really friendly and he's actually a good guy. Even though he's really awkward and he doesn't know how to talk to people. Okay, so now we have a place where we can get people to. Now, to the point. Um... Oh, hello Lord, I forgot. No, no. No. Fuck this shit! What the hell? I tried to dodge on the right and blocked me. Sorry. This is bullshit. Bollocks. I'm going to fuck you up. 
Oh, they're honey. And stay down. Whatever. Asshole. Stop that. Thank you. So yeah, there, that's like until DLC, it was the only shield that you can find in game, and it sucks. But with some weaker weapons, it can actually stop, you know, the damage. Uh, so. do wonder is if we see... No, we actually don't. Huh. Whatever. Woo um, I will explain to you what the hell is this, maybe later. But for now it's, it's not important. It's not important. It's just a blinding light that appears out of nowhere and tries to hit you. So, yeah. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Okay. Not there. What the hell? That came through him. What the fuck? Free shit. Do, 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 do. Yes, that was got the uh, Spectre gadget. Clean. Another honey. closer you are to them, the more bullets hurt, so... At short range they can really wreck your shit up. Especially considering that there are places where there is a lot of them. In groups. So if you run to them you can get really wrecked. Okay. And here we meet a guy that has voiced, that voiced uh, Solera of Astora in Dark Souls 1, so... You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé well, of Master Ligarius, hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. 
Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Jesus, the sideburns. You look like a bus driver, man. Not cool, not cool. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. May odds be ever in your favor. I'm really wondering because I remember that he turned to us when he started speaking. But there must be oodles for us to share. What? Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Bergenworth is an old place of learning. And the Tomb of the Gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. And that's all. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. As you can see, he's one of the not many friendly guys, but also he's one of the people that understands the need of knowledge and that we really want to know what what sh shit we got ourselves into. Da -da. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. And this opens a little passage here. Comparing gemstone. Bloodstone or something. Hello there, honey. I don't think there was anything here. Oopsie daisy. And here's, yeah, here's the lantern. This place leads to... Central Yarnum. No, sorry. Well, uh, yeah. We were in Central. Uh, we're going... That leads to Old Yarnum. It was actually closed. Um Okay, I just I just wanted to have a lantern here. Um I'm going to skip back to the to the place you remember. Herp. So, back to the Eden Chapel. Now we can also go here and we meet this thing for the first time. Seems friendly, huh? 
Hello there, honey. Bah. Oh, no. Whoop. That's something called Charge a Giant, I think. Okay. That there is aqueduct that we got here from, from, and that here is a great bridge where we fought cleric beast. And what I got is Monaco. Yep. Y you can use it to look around. Hello. Okay, there is a little. Like in Dark Souls 2 and 1, there are little creatures. You can spot it here. Uh, that uh, run from you and disappear if you don't attack them. And if you kill them, you get some good loot. Fuck that! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fuck. So I killed it, but I didn't loot it. I have no idea what happens then. In Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 1, it just meant that you lost the loot. And in, in this one, I have absolutely no idea if they changed it. Uh. Well, as long as I'm in the dream, I can at least check it for stops. Welcome to this. Over time, countless hunters have visited this dream. The graves here stand in their memory. It all seems so long ago now. Over time, the it farewell. So. Obviously, we're not only hunter in the dream. We're only one currently in the dream. You know, except our little host here and the beautiful doll. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. He speaks fucking riddles. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods, and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true. One 
of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? One of the... Yeah, mm, this holy chalice is in the... In Old Yarnum, the place that I didn't go through from this, uh, from the lantern that I found. So, to the point. Can I, or can I? Yes. I can buy uh, the set that Gascoigne is wearing. If you kill some NPCs and some bosses, you can buy it for insight. Nothing new here. No, I don't think so. Okay, so we have all the pieces of dialogue. Uh, I think back into the fray. Okay, so the creature is back here, so they changed it, and if you don't loot it, you can loot it again. Now, can I go around? No, I have to sprint through here. Okay, it's dead. Now I can do this. One thing less to worry about. Now to the annoying guy that swings. This is what I like to see. Now, as you see, we are... We are... Near the bridge. Near the Great Bridge. And the door that is here is closed, but there is loot there, so... I'm going to go there then. And... Yep. This is the closed door. It doesn't open at any point of the game, I have absolutely no idea why. Because it could be a shortcut, and a good one. And it wouldn't be a problem, because if you got here you have lantern, so... I have no idea why it's locked. I mean, you could as well find a key on uh, something on this side. Even this giant that I just killed. That would be good enough, I guess. Eh, whatever. This is closed, but I have to I have to buy a key for that. I mean, normally you can get from the other side after really long running, but uh, if you buy a key for ten thousand blood echoes, you can skip it. And I'm going to use it in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.